and today's video is another swap with my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Melissa, but I bet y'all know her as the cheap chick. So we have been friends now for maybe almost a year, I want to say. We did one swap already. No, we did two swaps. Oh my God. You guys, it has been a long day. It's actually like 4.46 in the morning. This is the latest I have filmed in quite some time. I just got done filming a fashion TikTok. It was chaos. It was exciting. And now I'm here. We did two other collabs in the past. The first one we did, we did a swap where it was a mystery box. I sent her things from AliExpress. She sent me things from Wish. And then we did a super fun swap, which was a junk drawer swap. And we just like found stuff around our house in our junk drawer and swapped it. It was magical. I love doing both of them. And uh, she always comes up with the best swap ideas. Why am I just spontaneously wearing cheese? She had a wonderful idea a couple of months ago uh, where we would do a Christmas in July swap. We were supposed to pick one item for each other that was $20 or less, or maybe it was supposed to be right at $20. And then everything else we were supposed to pick stuff around our house, kind of like the junk drawer video, but maybe some nicer stuff, maybe some stuff that had been in other YouTube videos. And then usually inevitably there will be something that one of us sees in the, in, in one of the other one's videos. And it's like, Hey, if you're going to get rid of that, send it to me instead. And you guys, I totally messed this up. Cause like I said, we were supposed to do Christmas in July. I would, this collab have been, um, flakier, than a biscuit. I just like, I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys what it was. I haven't even told her this yet. I was so torn about what to pick for the $20 item that I had everything else wrapped and prepared for probably a month and a half. And then I just, I couldn't decide what to pick for the $20 item. And so fi finally I did. And so now we're doing Christmas in September. Oh, and I was supposed to go to Disney. We were supposed to hang out uh, like last week in September. It's still September when I'm filming this, but we were supposed to go to Disney like two weeks ago and we had all these like plumbing repairs spontaneously that we had to do. So now we had to like move the trip. So, oh my God, I'm thankful that she is still my friend. Here it is. I don't think that there was like a limit on how many items were in the box. You guys, honestly, at this point, I shipped mine off I think like the first week of September. So I was only two months late, but I did forget to like write stuff down. I forgot to put a card in it. You guys, you guys, fingers crossed that she's going to want to collab with me again in the future. Cause I really messed this one up. <sighs> so the funny thing is she did text me once she opened my box. Cause she already filmed everything. Um, and she said that one of the items that we ended up getting for each other was the same item and she kind of couldn't believe it. I'm guessing that the item that we got the same is what I ended up picking as the $20 item. <sighs> but we shall see. We shall see if I'm right. So uh, I'm just gonna open. Well, you know what? Here's the card. I see the card. Look at her handwriting too. I love this. Did the junk box unboxing and oh my God, you guys. <gasps> Did y'all watch that video? Cause I still have, I still have the MP3 player that she sent to me from the junk box and I rediscovered Fiona Apple. She has some of her music on there and it was like Fiona Apple and I have not heard that since I was in the seventh grade. It was like bringing back sweet memories. Look, Christmas in July, you guys. Holly jolly Christmas in July. And it would have been had I not messed it up. It said, I hope you love all the presents I sent. FYI, I am the worst rapper, but I gave it my best. So happy to call you my friend. May your days be filled with warmth and good cheer from Melissa. Now, in no particular order, this says, this is way more you than me. You will have to mend the slit a bit, which you are definitely better than me to do. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is this? Wait, oh my God, wait, is this the Titanic dress? I feel like it is. Oh my God, yes, this was in, 
I swear this was in one of her thrifting unboxing videos and she got this like super formal magical dress from Michael Marcella Limited. Look at that that she tried it on so I'm gonna insert a clip of her um trying it on but look at this this is like super fancy she said she got it like just for fun on a whim and you guys I truly miss like thrifting because I too miss just buying formal dresses mostly on a whim um but you know what I've been into lately like behind the scenes because I don't think I've ever shown an item that I've made yet I think what I was trying to what I was planning on doing is doing a bunch of them grouping them together and then making like one video about it but I started doing thrift flips behind the scenes which is something that I used to do so long ago like pre YouTube days I used to love to go to the thrift store and buy a bunch of things that I just loved like the pattern of the fabric or the type of fabric that it was and then I would like just cut it all up and like make a totally new garment and so that's what I've really been into lately and I almost think that instead of mending this or keeping it like it is I feel like I'd really love to repurpose this velvet fabric it's so gorgeous and it feels really high quality as does this like satin lining and I feel like maybe that's kind of like well I feel like hopefully it's gonna be something that gets more popular because I almost feel like that's something that maybe like people don't consider as much as they should which is like go to the thrift store before you go to the fabric store because if you were to buy like velvet on a bolt that is gonna be so expensive but I feel like you can get this is huge. Is it a turkey leg? Um, but I feel like you can get like velvet. I forgot how much she said she paid for this, but like, I feel like this is a lot of velvet that I can use for like a corset or something. Oh my God. So this said, I had my fun with it. Now time to pass it along to you. All right. Oh my God. How is this literally a turkey leg? This must be, you guys, I watch like every single one of her videos. So I must have like seen it in a video, but yes, oh my God. I absolutely love pillows like this. I'm always shocked. I feel like she got this on Wish, but I'm always like so shocked at the quality of these large pillows like this. Look, I'll show you guys this one too. I got this one forever ago. On Wish, is this gonna freak somebody out? It's a realistic roach pillow. Maybe a little too realistic, but like look at how high quality, right? Looks just like a real roach. Um, and the great thing is, is you can actually like unzip these, take the stuffing out, wash them. If you're like me, Ooh, he does look like a little buddy. <gasps> Hi there. I love this. I've looked at this one before. Oh my gosh. It says, when I got this in a mystery box, I thought you could pull it off. <gasps> What's it gonna be? Does anybody, does anybody have any guesses? Does anybody else also religiously watch her videos? Oh my God, this is amazing. Just so you know, we can't accept returns once this tag is removed. What is this? <gasps> That's like something that fancy brands tell you. Is this a fancy brand? It looks, ASOS? Are you a fancy brand? This is just the type of stuff that I need in my life. Cause you guys know, I just got done with filming some today. My chaotic fashion TikToks that I love so much. My magical uh, fa fashion transition videos. And I'm always just looking for weird, random, flashy stuff like this. This is definitely gonna come in handy, especially since it's so, like it has um, a crossover front but anything that is like more billowy where I can like layer a lot of stuff under it or over it those pieces are perfect for that because then I can just have true fashion mayhem here's this oh it feels pointy okay it says my subs told me to send this to you before I even realized that it was perfect for you so let's see what that is I'm gonna unwrap this one carefully. I feel like it's a sign. Is it a... Wait, what does this... Oh my god! Wait, she had to get this from 
maybe a Michaels $5. <laughs> I love doing those too. The Michaels $5 grab bags. Yeah, look, this is, this was like 20 bucks. You guys, those Michaels $5 grab bags. I've done those unboxings a couple times on my second channel, but yeah, I love this. Oh my God. Um, I have a couple of signs that have been sent to me from subscribers in Swamp Family Mail that say like bunny something, this or that. And I love to hang them in my garage. So I'm definitely gonna hang this one in there as well and I feel like that's just perfect to put like right in front of where I park my car too because it's like bunny stop here this is so cute I love it I love it got a valentine's day one and st patrick's those are the two seasons that I got michael's five dollar grab bags I know what this is I, th I think I know what this is. It says Ribbit Ribbit. So this is one item that I kind of like spoiled the surprise for myself by watching her videos. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Cause I've always wanted to order like a Kermit from Wish or AliExpress. <laughs> this one looks like really, really like a real one. You know what I mean? You put like a little stuffing in the arms. I just love, I love all things frogs, all Kermits, you guys. Sometimes I wish I could be like a Muppet puppeteer. This says, just because I knew you would love it. And once again, it feels very soft. Ah, oh my God. What is this? It's very fluffy. It's very, very fluffy. It feels like I'm hugging a Q-tip or a cloud. Oh my God, I do love it. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. I always talk about how my room in high school, my senior year, I remade over my room. That's maybe not how you say that. Redid my room, room makeover, and it was all Hello Kitty. It was like Pepto-Bismol pink with fuchsia pink. For some reason, I redid my room like that multiple times where I took like the sponge and I would like sponge a different color of paint on top of another color of paint. And I thought, oh, I thought so fancy interior decorating. And then I had Hello Kitty border paper. If I can find a photo of this room, I'll include it in here because I know I've talked about it for years and years and years on YouTube. Probably never shown you guys a picture of it, but oh my God. Yeah, I would have loved this. I mean, I still love it, but this would have been like the focal point of my floor when I was in high school. I'm honestly not sure. It feels like it's a blanket, but it looks like it's a rug. What is it? You guys tell me. It actually feels like really high quality. Okay. Uh, now you have two. Love mine so comfy. This is what it is. I cannot believe. I knew it. You guys, I should have like guessed. Yeah, this is so funny. So funny. I cannot believe. So this is what I picked to be the $20 item. I got mine on Amazon to send to her. And they are, you guys remember this? They are the fish sandals. So I actually ordered these, I think it was a Wish shoe unboxing that I did a couple of years ago. They were fish sandals slippers, but they only sent me one. So like the whole time I've had one fish shoe, because otherwise I would have been using these bad boys. So I got her blue, but I just thought like, you know, so weird. So random. Doesn't this just seem like something I would give to somebody also? But yeah, I feel like everybody loves fish shoes. Who doesn't, who doesn't love these? But yeah, this is what I agonized for, for two months, okay? I agonized what to spend the $20 on and I came up with fish shoes. Was it worth it? Probably not. I probably should have just like made a decision. Okay. Uh, for those girl emergencies on the go, girl emergencies. What is it? What is it? Is it tampons? It's a beautiful lace bag. Ooh. I love like zipper pouches like this that are plastic. Socks? You guys, this is truly my level of emergencies. This is actually really cute. We have like pink footy socks. The number of times that these would have come in so handy in my life. We have hair ties and bobby pins. The number of times I've needed that. This is like maybe um, 
like tape, you know, like clothing tape, if your clothes, you know, if you pop a button or something. We have a fingernail file, a little like cotton round, and some Q-tips. Look at that. We have a makeup remover wipe. We have, I think this is a Kleenex, a Band-Aid, a couple of Band-Aids in a fashionable hot pink color. This is something I feel like you see less and less of. I remember this used to be like, you would always check into a hotel room and they would give you, this would be in there. It's a needle, thread, two buttons, and a safety pin. You guys, this is like so helpful. Earring backs. You guys, I've never seen like a little, I think that it was like called pinch provisions um a while back there were these little like kits like this but i don't even feel like they had like earring backs and then oh my god this would be so helpful too and i've never seen like lint remover sheets like this before too oh my god um it's like in a little it almost looks like it looks like a little matchbook match matchbook matchbook 20. was that a band matchbox Matchbox 20. Took this from a cruise because it made me smile. Hope it does the same for you. Oh my God. It's a bird. It's a bird. It is a bird. Look, it's a bird towel. You guys, I know that this is huge on cruises. I'm kind of sad. I feel like they don't do this at Disney anymore. Like the first time I went to Disney as a kid and I came back and they had put these as a surprise in our room. You guys, I thought I had died and gone to heaven. Why do I love things like this? I don't even know. But now I'm trying to remember like what cruise ship it is where it's kind of like a joke now and they just start bombarding your room with like towel animals. But that looks so fun. That would be like the only reason I would go on a cruise. Cruises kind of scare me, you know? I don't know why, I do know why. Titanic, you know, I don't wanna. I don't want to do Titanic, but I would consider going for the plethora of towel animals. This says, welcome to the team. And I hope it is what I think it is. Looks like it is. It looks like it's a t-shirt. It is. Oh my God. I have been wanting one of her t-shirts for ever. I thought it would be like super fun to wear uh, for our future swaps. And I just love stuff like this. I seriously love like other YouTubers merch and stuff just because I feel like it's so exciting to make and do and collect and have from people you're friends with or people you watch. Um, and so she sent me a shirt. I love it. And it's like very, very comfy too. Okay, this says now you can have some too. I'm shocked my camera has not died because the overheating thing has been on the whole time. Oh my God, yes, I remember she did. Um, These were in a couple of her videos and these always looked so amazing. And they're these little like foldable, collapsible crates. So I have two like this that are the purple ones. They just like snap together so fast and then they collapse totally flatly. And then I have two, oh my God, she sent me four of them. Then I have two like this, which are this really pretty blue color. And ta-da! So there's that one. And then that's what it looks like flat. But yeah, these always looked so handy. And I feel like these would just be great for me to like organize some of my stationary items like pens and pencils and erasers and scissors, others. I feel like you could put like quite a bit in these purple ones. Always wanted to try those. I'm trying to remember if she got them from Wish or what's that other website? Oh my God, I cannot think of it right now. It's where like a lot of the items are a dollar. A lot of the beauty items are a dollar. It'll come to me as soon as I'm editing this video. Okay, you guys last package it says ahoy matey and I'm kind of wondering if this is what I think it is too uh, yes I feel like this is oh my god I saw this item in one of her fashion videos oh, I love this so much it looks like a little pirate okay uh my camera overheated and it's still burning hot I changed the battery uh but I'm sure you guys can see everything perfect about a uh pirate costume so that is it 
empty box, you guys. Uh, so thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. And a huge thank you to the Cheap Chick for doing this swap with me and for being my friend. You guys, be sure and check her channel out in the info box down below. It's going to be the first thing I have linked for you guys today. Y'all definitely have to go check her out. Go subscribe to her channel. I love, love watching her videos. And she uploads almost daily. And it is just like a great conclusion to my day. Her videos are like so fun and they're just like so calming to me to watch. Um, it reminds me of like the good old like haul days of YouTube, you know? Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!